James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is August 17th, 2022, 6 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, we're already in KP6 territory, and this show has just started. This is the worst news we could see come through this early. Today, we were subject to one of the largest flares and associated inbound CMEs that I've seen in some time. I will show you. It did finally register on goes. But ladies and gentlemen, the next four days, I am guessing that we could see a KP of eight or maybe even nine off the charts. Noah blew this one big time, folks. Uh, this is the KP6 bar right here. Uh, well, we'll have to see what happens the last three hours of the day. They projected a KP6 tomorrow, i.e. from 6 to 9 tonight, Central Time. And then a 7 G3 geomagnetic storm from 9 to midnight tonight. It's a very good chance I will lose internet. I will be trying to go live during that time period and keep you all updated. I believe that this could go into the G4 category, maybe a KP8 or even KP9 off the charts. This is a critical situation. I'll show you what happened today. This is going to be ongoing for four days at least. They had stopped the feed right as the eruption started, but they actually are showing us what's going on. I will show you the explosion. You can see it has a halo effect to it from the top and bottom. Absolutely enormous. They have also removed about an hour and a half of time here. I don't know what this thing shooting through here is, uh, but obviously it was lit up by this explosion. And it's definitely a large explosion. Now I'll show you what they're calling it, and y'all let me know what you think. So based on the timing here on GOES, they're calling it these two events right here. And that's going to be only uh, a M2 and an M1.08, I believe. Uh, 1.11. So that's it. Those two, they're saying, combined into what you saw on LASCO. Do you believe it? I find it hard to believe. It looked like an Earth-directed X-Flare to me. And nothing's being updated. Absolutely ridiculous. One flare, and we know we have seven or eight inbound. This is NASA's ISWA spiral, and you know they are in the bunkers. And as discussed earlier, the WSA Inland Prediction Center was not updated today. It is a work day. It's always updated. Again, it makes me feel as if these people are gone. All right, this entire thing is a good show. Look at this active sunspot pop in flare after in flare after in flare and tell me the last one over at 193 angstroms coming up wasn't much stronger of course it was it was the strongest one that we saw stronger than any of these other ones it appears god there were some strong ones all of this is earthbound these are absolutely enormous we also have the crawl holes that are earth facing watch this last explosion Let's get there and stop it. All right, this is it right here. Look at that thing. Nothing, nothing. Bam. And that's what they're calling the little M flare, the M2 class. They claim went off today. Saw that now, right? Does that look like an M2 to you? See, it's a long term event, too. Wow. Very strong. Now, over here on STO at 171 angstroms, it's going to be this sunspot here. Remember, AR3078 has your name on it. And look at that explosion as they end the feed. It's ongoing as they end the feed. But watch. I mean, it's just huge. Absolutely enormous. So I do have some questions here. They marked 1,800 hours to 2,100 hours as a kp6 they marked 
1,500 to 1,800 hours here as a KP4. During that time period, we had plasma of, well, 21, 22 centimeters cubed, solar winds at 502, and then 18 comes, the plasma drops down quite a bit to 11 here, and it goes lower and lower and lower. That's the section they put as a KP6, but look at the solar winds. They also die off to nothing. So what are they actually calling out with that KP6? Not plasma or solar winds. They were much higher during the KP4 from 1500 to 1800. Something wrong is happening here in front of our very faces. I hope you all understand what I'm showing you here. The last bar that we're looking at, the KP6, is from right there. Look up, there's no space weather indication whatsoever on the top here. Look, as far off as you can get, to right there, where they're indicating this huge space weather, when there's 7 centimeters cubed plasma and 481 kilometers per second solar winds. Nothing. What is going on? Now we're working on the last bar, and they have a space weather event crossover being shown up here but what's it made out of i guess the solar winds are picking back up and the plasma is picked back up a little bit we have to see what they come in at but the kp6 makes no sense the 1500 to 1800 bar should have been a kp6 perhaps and they decided to well fudge it this is discover real-time solar wind and you can be assured that this information is fairly correct Again, nothing has been updated on this whatsoever. Uh, this is the warning that they put out yesterday for today, the 18th and 19th. It should now, of course, go through the 20th. They have outlined the impact of this CME. It should be about four, five, six, seven CMEs. But the two CMEs that we saw today are just as strong as anything that's headed this way. Nothing has been updated, though. They haven't even added the 20th to this. And, again, the Prediction Center is closed, basically. Throw away the key. Scary to think about, right? Could this all be some kind of show? Because we don't even have an electron space weather event going on right now. You can see over the last seven days we have. But right now, we're seeing no electrons hit our GOES satellite, and it should be just overwhelmed, unless it's malfunctioned. That'd be my only other possibility to see this type of lack of electrons hitting the planet after a explosion like that. God bless you and yours, folks. Uh, they got the KP-6 in the wrong spot, and this is very strange to see. No electrons hitting the planet. Maybe it's just all Memorex. Share and subscribe and always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World, even an EMP.